This year's been confusing, but I think I finally found an answer to why Trump hasn't stood up to Big Pharma this year and why the medical communist takeover of America happened and maybe could have been prevented. Take a look. Trump almost gave you a position or whenever he became president, wasn't there talk of that and then it kind of went away? He just kind of went into the into the wind with it? He, well, what happened was he, con in 20, over the Christmas vacation, um, 2016, he's elected. Right. right. And then the, obviously the election isn't in November. So. so Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is a huge vaccine safety advocate. And a lot of people reference President Trump's old tweets when he was very skeptical about vaccines. And it looked like he was going to take it seriously. I was skiing and with my kids in Colorado over Christmas vacation. And I got a call from his chief of staff saying the president elect wants to meet. That's so crazy. And he wants to talk about vaccines. So, uh, you know, I've been an activist on trying to get safer vaccines for a yeah. long time. And, of course, I agreed to meet with him. He called me. He asked me to come in. I had, as I said, about a two-hour meeting with him at that meeting. Listen to RFK Jr. talk about the meeting a little bit and what President Trump was interested in. said that he believed that vaccines were making people sick. Specifically, he had three women friends who were mothers, one who was in the building that day, who had perfectly healthy kids, who had gotten uh, a, you know, their wellness visits when they were around two years old, and the, the children never were the same after those visits. They all had been subsequently diagnosed with autism. And he believed that it was linked to vaccines. And he, you know, because he had been open about that during the campaign, hundreds of women had, as they did, the same thing that happened to me that got me into this, you know, this career killing uh, um, advocacy, vaccine <laughs> safety, obviously. I saw this clip a while ago of Bill Gates talking about this meeting, kind of explaining how he was in Trump's ear to not do it. Uh, the march after that, uh, so March 2017 in the White House, in both of those two meetings, he asked me if vaccines weren't a bad thing because he was considering a commission to look into uh, ill effects of vaccines. And, and somebody, his name is Robert Kennedy Jr., was advising him that vaccines were causing bad things. And I said, no, that's a dead end. That would be a bad thing. Don't do that. And the full RFK Jr. interview is in my description. You can watch it on Theo Vaughn's channel. First of all, thank you, Theo Vaughn, for doing this. You're doing better reporting than most mainstream media. But also to save you some time for my review. RFK wanted to have a database basically that he showed to the public so people could see it. He was like, you don't have to do too much Trump, just show people the data, that's all we need. He then talked about how he sat down with Fauci and others. And then Trump comes in and we continue to have some meetings with Fauci and you know that he he had set up that we're part of this process and we're rolling to get this thing started. And does Fauci meet. seem legit when you talk to him? Does he seem like somebody, does he seem like a... And does not seem to be a huge fan of Dr. Anthony Fauci. Take a look. Uh, oh, he's very, very charming, but he's not, he's... Listen, Fauci, I'm about to publish a book on Fauci. Yeah. And he's, um, you know, he's basically, he's been there for 50 years. So he's like J. Edgar Hoover. And the only way that you last at that agency for 50 years is by carrying water for the pharmaceutical industry. And under his watch, he's supposed to prevent autoimmune and allergic diseases. Under his watch, chronic disease has gone from affecting 12% of the American population to 54%. We take oh, yeah. more pharmaceutical drugs than anybody in the world. We it's pay crazy. the highest prices. So we, it's, we, he's made this country pharmaceutical nation. Yeah, my brother's alert. So this is the part that I think a lot of people do not want to see and do not want to admit, which kind of shatters the hero story that we've all been waiting for from President Trump, wondering why he hasn't been fighting against Big Pharma, wondering why he's pushing their agenda, locking down the country, funding them to the tunes of tens of billions of dollars. It looks like instead of siding with RFK Jr. and actually making this stuff transparent, he decided to employ swamp creatures and hire a bunch of big pharma lobbyists and executives instead of going with RFK Jr. So anyway, so anyway, so big so pharma then, stepped in and put pharma some money stepped in. in and then Trump appoints pharma uh, Pfizer's lobbyist 
to run FDA. Um, Scott Gottlieb and Eli Lilly's lobbyist, Alex Azar, to run HHS. And as soon as they came in, they shut us down. And, and was that a big, were you bummed about that? Was I bummed? Yeah, I was very bummed. I'd have been bummed. Yeah, of course. I'd just wait. Bummed, it was man. like within our grasp, you know. It's wild looking at it in hindsight, knowing that that moment right there, that decision that Trump made to side with Big Pharma over RFK Jr., could have been the decision that saved America. That could have been the decision that totally prevented this type of year from happening. And it really makes a lot of sense now why he really hasn't done much at all this year. The two vaccines that they say are going to be done first this year looks like Moderna and the Pfizer biotech vaccine. And what I found interesting is that they actually bought them in August. So in August, 2020, Trump administration buys 100 million doses of Moderna's vaccine. This is before any of the trials were done, the safety trials, the efficacy trials. How can you purchase a hundred million doses of a vaccine that you're not sure is safe or effective yet? And interestingly enough, the same thing happened with the Pfizer vaccine. Back in July, Trump administration ordered a hundred million doses of the Pfizer COVID vaccine. And now he's being pressured by mainstream media as if he didn't buy enough. And I think the answer is obvious, but when you have billions of dollars invested into these companies when you already spent a lot of money buying doses before they're even ready. Do you have financial interest to tell the truth about what's going on? Do you even care? Would you admit? Would these companies or Trump admit if say it didn't turn out like they did? Would they turn down billions of dollars or would they keep steamrolling forward? That's a question you can answer yourself. But I looked into some of the efficacy trials for Moderna and this is right off science. They did a 30,000 person efficacy trial and it looks like in the placebo group that there were 185 symptomatic cases. That's right, 30,000 person efficacy group, a disease that's so bad that only 185 people even show symptoms. And that justifies what happened this whole year. Of course it doesn't, and I hate to say it, but it looks like Trump could have made a decision in 2016 and 2017 to save our country, to stand up to the medical industry, and to work with people like RFK Jr. And instead he decided to work with lobbyists, executives, and completely hand the country over to Big Pharma back then and do virtually nothing as they bamboozled our country this year. It's disappointing. Watch the whole RFK clip below if you'd like to see it all. And hopefully conservatives wake up to this reality soon because in their head they're playing this game where he's fighting everybody all the time and he's doing every single thing great ever done ever and he's gonna just save our country. But if you really look at the facts this year, if you really look at the evidence like wait and trust Bill Barr and Durham for three years, people sitting around waiting for government to save them, it never happened. Hillary never got locked up. We got locked up. At a certain point, we're going to have to face reality unless you want to watch America get wiped away because you don't want to admit what probably happened, which is he chose the path of big pharma, not the path of investigating them and has never looked back. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. If you'd like to support me, stay in touch with me.com is my free email list. Patreon.com slash rare talk is my Patreon. I'll be back soon.